The TLS Convertible Wheeled Carry-On from eBags. This is the latest addition to the TLS collection, and we've added a whole bunch of features to this bag that we'll go into in greater detail as we go on. But if you're familiar with the older 22-inch expandable carry-on that we had, this is the next generation of that bag. Once again, the height, 22, 14 inches wide. Depending on how you pack, if you don't overpack it, you're gonna comply with the nine inch thickness. But we've also made sure that we've included an expansion gusset in this bag. All the way around, and we're gonna give you an inch and a half of increased packing space. We're using YKK zippers throughout this bag. We also have our locking D-rings, which is just a bit of added security for you. We also have photoreflective cords on the pullers just to give you a little bit of nighttime safety, maybe when you're rolling through a dark parking lot. So to the back of the bag, we have a one-piece compression molded shell. We have a side grab handle. We have a top grab handle. And we also have the recessed trolley handle system that you're already very familiar with if you already own some of the TLS collection. Now, because this is a two-wheeled suitcase, we need to make sure that we give you the tallest handle possible to avoid heel kicking when you're walking down the concourse. 41 actually is typically what luggage manufacturers build into their bags. We, again, pay a lot of attention to the details. This is something that our tall travelers love. Back to the front of the bag, we have our much-loved forehead pocket. Great place for you to put your 311 liquids or any other things that you need to have quick access to. As you can see, we're still using our bright orange lining. We love that. Travel is fun. Your luggage should be fun. Then on the front, there's a very simple, large, open compartment. Great place to put maybe your laptop. I'd recommend you put it in a sleeve, or you may have a change of clothes or a jacket that you want to be able to wear if you arrive in a colder climate than where you left. Going into the main compartment, we're using YKK zippers on everything. We have a number 10 zipper on the main. That's the highest usage compartment, so we put the largest zipper possible there. We have our tie tapes. We don't have the high-low system on here. It's really not needed based on the depth of this bag. But one thing we do always give you is lots of webbing, make it very easy for you to connect this over maybe an overpacked interior, and then able to cinch it down nice and tight. On this side, we've also kept it very simple. Beautiful soft mesh makes it very easy for you to see what's inside. All of the expansion that I mentioned earlier comes in this compartment. Pack this side as you need it. As things change on your trip, you're gonna gain volume on this side of the bag. Zip it closed, and you're good to go. Now on this end, we have a handle, finger grip. Grab it from the top handle here. Makes it very easy to get it in and out of your trunk. Then depending on what type of overhead compartment you're in, should go in, handles first, wheels out. This makes it very easy for you to remove it from the overhead compartment. Now let's talk about the optional removable backpack straps. That's actually what makes this a convertible. Putting backpack straps on a suitcase are not new, that is not novel, but typically what happens is the backpack straps are connected to the back of the bag. We don't think this is really a great surface to have against your body. Number one, it's really hard. Number two, the wheels get dirty, depending on what the environment is that you're in. So we've decided that we're gonna put the backpack straps on the front of the bag. Let me show you how we do that. Now the backpack straps are something that we're selling optionally. And the reason we're doing that is not everybody has the ability to carry something like this on their back. I have a neck injury. There is no way that I would ever be able to carry a bag this big on my back as a backpack. We have a ladder system that is built in here that allows you to adjust the connection point for the backpack straps based on the size of your torso. If you're really tall, you're gonna to wanna to have it on one of the higher loops. If you're shorter, you wanna have it on one of the lower ones. This is going to clip in. And then with the zippers, just bring this up to the front. This is a great time to say that this is a perfect place for you to put a fleece jacket or something soft, as opposed to the back of the bag, which is rigid. This is your opportunity to make it nice and soft and padded on the front. We're gonna grab this hook, come into this loop here. We're gonna take this one, come into here. This backpack clip is gonna go down here. 
and I'm going to reach across. And then you have a convertible wheeled backpack. Now what I would recommend you do is get all of this set and adjust at home before your trip. Once you get it set to the way you want to carry it, it is very quick to attach, remove, or stow inside the bag. So if you know you're going to need this, maybe you're going to a location that doesn't have an elevator, doesn't have an escalator. You get off a train, you have a long flight of stairs that you have to go up. This is when you're going to want to have this feature on the bag. Maybe you're going to a city that has lots of cobblestones. You're not going to want to be rolling these from the train station to your bed and breakfast. I'll show you how you can store it. Disconnect the metal hook. Disconnect the backpack strap tails. Unzip this front compartment. And simply fold this inside this front pocket. Nobody knows it's there. Now, if you're not traveling in an environment where you're gonna need backpack straps, leave them at home. Now you have a nice little pocket on the front for newspaper, reading materials, any other small things that you wanna have quick access to. The TLS convertible wheeled carry-on from eBags. The difference is in the details.